good morning everybody let's work on some knives we got some uh halfway through a restoration but i got a knife order or two so let's get those done in the next day or two see all what i did i made me up some little uh my shoulder jigs out of a little tiny not real tiny but some scrap aluminum that was actually left over from my grinding jig that I made a while back and all these are just got them flat as I can Uh, drill one through hole and tapped the other hole there. I should have did a video making these. And I'll probably do that for long because I actually need more than two. Handier to have more than two. But right there you go. Now you can buy these. I think I've seen them for like $35 somewhere. And that ain't no fun. So we'll make our own. Now what that does, the way I do handles... It's going to help me because my eyesight is not as good as it was. Make sure I'm straight across. Because I do handles one side at a time. I've tried all the other ways. And this works for me. Finish this. This is a brawler. Which will be available maybe today. It's a master fighter. This one is sold. That one needs to be done today. Another Master Fighter that will be available maybe today. And there is another brawler. Now this is stabilized handle wood here. And I don't know what it is because it was not marked. So we're going to use it anyway. And this one I'm waiting. I've got more G10 spacers coming in the mail. Should be here tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, what's today? I said it'd be here Friday. But what did come yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, Alabama Damascus. There you go, Mr. Greg. I'll get yours done and we'll get that deal wrapped up. That, that's very, very pretty interesting. And Willie, I'll get yours done out of this piece also. That's a little bit thicker than I wanted, but it'll work. Nice folks, Alabama, Damascus. They always send a little stuff with their Jacksonville, Alabama. We actually lived there one time for a couple of months. Well, the wife did while I was in AIT at Anniston, Alabama. Fort McClellan. The toxic place. That's what's wrong with me. I got toxified up there. <laughs> Alright, we'll see some more in a little bit. I'm going to show you all something right quick. Happened yesterday morning too. It has turned off warm. Now we're expecting a cold front tonight. Look at the birds. Can you hear them? Now when I was a kid, my grandfather would tell me when they swarm like this, cold weather is coming. If I can get close enough. You see them? It's real foggy out here this morning. Hundreds and hundreds of them. It was a bigger flock than that yesterday. It was all up around the house. There they go. Now that is called a murder. A murder of crows. There they go. And the weather forecast says Thursday morning which is tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be in the low 30s. It's supposed to be 70 today, low 30s tomorrow. 
Well, there you go. Just thought that was interesting. There they go. Probably can't see them on the camera now. But... Boy, the old boat looks sad, don't it? Hmm. Not right now. I got enough to do already. <laughs> Coke number two on the finish. Those two. And this one has been, this is the stabilized wood. Been buffed out real nice. It was really shiny. So I took it down and waxed it down good. I'll let that wax dry. I got the camera on the tripod. That's why it's moving around like that. When it dries again, we'll uh, buff it down. And it's going to be pretty. Well, good morning again. It is the next morning. <clears throat> now, it went from 70 degrees yesterday to the mid-30s this morning. Strong north wind. And the wind chill right now, well, it's still morning, 1130. It's still in the 30s. So it's cold. And there's somebody on the telephone. Hang on. Alright, I guess that was for Mama. She got it up in the house. Anyway, I'm gluing up she's right now. Knives are finished. Got four I'm working on here. Y'all see that? I'll show y'all how I do this. Now this is what I use for glue and leather. But there only one place in town is the local hardware where you can get this. Now this works very well. It lasts a long time. There's a lot in that tube. And it's only, I think, $2 and something, a tube. And they've always got it. So we put it down. We'll take our little press. I made several of these. So I can do several at one time. Line it up. Clamp it down. I know a lot of people do this different. I'll take one of these clamps and put it here. Press it good. And about 30 minutes that'll be dry enough to take out and use. Now that's the way this works for me. It may not work for everybody. But I've done it this way for years. I've been building knives now for 10 years. And probably 8 of those. That's the way I do it. One side at a time. Just like my handles. One side at a time. And I'll show you all some of these finished up ones here in just a little bit. But now let me glue these. And while those are drying. I think I'll go inside and get me a bowl of soup. And a sandwich because it's cold in here but it's not so bad to where i got to have the heat on just yet so i'll show you these when they're all finished up here in a little bit and then we'll talk for a few minutes and and uh then we'll do something else <laughs> all right y'all we got some finished up knives to look at here now I'm going to show you the two that's already sold uh, first. We're going to get them chipped out of here tomorrow. Here's a Master Fighter. Now this order called for a Indian head stamp. Come out very nice. Now this is a Master Fighter with walnut handles. green g10 spacers came out just absolutely beautiful very nice knife very very sharp about there you go and that one's already sold on the way out of here 
Now this one I'm a few days late on. This is one of the master fighters I had for sale on the last for sale video. And there it is right there. And this one has the red G10 liners. All I had to do is make the sheath for that one. Well, there you go. That one is on the way out of here tomorrow. Now, these next two are for sale. Uh, this is another Master Fighter. Y'all seem to like those pretty good, so we'll make a few more of them. Master Fighter. Now, this is that um, stabilized wood that I had that I don't know what it is. It's, uh, what is red? Maybe a mahogany, something like that. But it's pretty. It is buffed up. Buffed up and waxed up. Came out very nice. This has black G10 spacers. Of course, very sharp. Everything comes out of here is very sharp. So be careful with it. This one is available. Now we're going to do a regular price on this one. Now a regular price on the Master Fighters is going to be $150. Uh, $12 shipping. Now since I went to the uh, post office boxes for shipping, uh, it's going to have to go up just a little bit. I hate it, but it's that's the way it's got to be. $12 shipping on that one. Uh, because it'll fit in a small flat rate box. I mean, not flat rate box, but a small priority box. The small flat rate boxes, they're like $7 for shipping. Almost nothing I make except for the smaller knives will fit in there. Now this one here, here is a brawler. Right there, and this one is for sale also. This is a brawler. Right there, walnut handles, red G10 spacers. Very sharp. Very nice knife. <coughs> Pardon me. Now this also will not fit in a small box. It's got to go in a bigger box. So shipping on the brawler is, we'll say $15. <coughs> Excuse me, it'll actually be just a little bit more than that, but uh, but I'll take care of the rest of it. Uh, brawler's regular price is gonna be, I've settled on the price, uh, $250. 250 will get you that brawler right there. All right, now all these are reclaimed steel, which means it takes a lot more work to get them done. So, <laughs> all right, these two are for sale. If you're interested, send me an email. I'll leave the link down below. <coughs> and something I want to mention. Uh, I was on the phone with a uh, my buddy Brad BC Truck this morning, and we was talking about payment, how people pay, and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people won't order because I say PayPal only. Well, just because I say PayPal only, you don't have to have a PayPal account to buy a knife from me, or Brad, or a lot of other people. If you don't have a PayPal account, you want one of these knives, you let me know and I can send you an invoice. Now my invoice says PayPal, but as far as your end goes, now I mentioned this a good while back, but um, I'll mention it again. You can pay that invoice with any way you like to buy anything. Credit card, debit card, bank card, I believe even a gift card or the instant cash money cards you know that you go buy uh, that will work just fine uh, so just let me know if you 
you know, if you don't PayPal, just let me know and I'll send you an invoice. If you do PayPal and you want to invoice for your records, that's fine too. Just let me know. It takes just a couple of minutes for me to type out a little invoice and send it to you. No big deal. Thought I'd bring that up again. And um, let's see, special thanks to several people who have helped me uh, make up the difference on that knife that was lost in the mail. My post office rant that I did. But it wasn't really a rant. It was true statements. But um, And let me also say, not all postal workers are bad. I absolutely understand that. I didn't mean that. Uh, my son-in-law didn't like that too much because he's a mailman. But uh, everybody is not like that. But in something as big as the post office, you know, there's going to be some bad apples. We all know that. And a bad apple, and I'm still aggravated about it. Nothing I can do about it. Now, the man has filed a complaint, and that's about all that can be done. But um, I know all postal carriers, mail carriers, are not bad people. I know that. I didn't mean to sound like that, so... If you took offense to that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. They are bad people everywhere you go. So, um, a bad one just happened to get a hold of that package, in my opinion. So, anyway, enough about that. If you're interested in one of these, let me know. Now, I've got one more brawler. I uh, don't have the handles on it yet. Hang on, let me see. Let me show you what happened with the handles on that one. Now, this was some of the same, that same red material, that stabilized material. I did not notice when I cut it. I looked at that side there. Looks fine, don't it? Over here, if you look close, there's a crack all the way down. And if you look really close, there's, it goes all the way through. And you can see it on the end. So that is out. I'm not going to use that. I'll find something else. I have another block of stabilized wood. This um, also, I don't know what it is because it wasn't marked. If not, I have plenty of uh, walnut see walnut oak ash light and dark colors hickory i've got all kind of stuff so i'll put something else on that one but it is there it is right there it's ground up ready for handles and finishing if you're interested in that one let me know uh pick your handle on that one. so uh All right, I guess that's about it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to the post office to mail these. I'm going to take basically a shop day off and uh, spend a day with Mama. She thinks I have moved out of the house and moved into the shop, which that's the way it feels here lately. But uh, I'm going to take a day off, maybe two days off, spend some time with her. And we have a very big anniversary coming up next week, or the next week, somewhere in there, February the 6th, I remember, I should have it tattooed right there, but I remember. Anyway, maybe that night we'll do a live stream and let y'all talk to mama if I can get her in front of the camera. But uh, anyway, I've got to spend some time with her. I've got some stuff around the house and the yard that I really, really need to do. So, um, next couple of days will be that. And then after that, we will get on the Damascus knives and there'll be, well, be two of those available sometime next week. And they're going to be pretty. 
So thank y'all very much for your support. Uh, thank you for watching. Like the videos if you like. Share the video if you like. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. And if you're not, uh, what's my uh, one of my favorite channels? Keith on fishing stuff. What are you waiting for? You know, so. <laughs> Uh, do that. That helps me out a lot. The uh, views help me out a lot. Uh, and I don't know what else to say, to say for today except for it's time to go in. Go in and get me something to eat. And I will see y'all in a couple of days with something else. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you.